Welcome, welcome to Volatility 411 for Equity Armor Investments. I'm Joe Tige here in the VIX pit. I'm here for the first time in June and I'm glad to be out of May. May was a disastrous month for the market. The sell in May go away trade was here and we actually started that again. The start of the week, we had the market down again on Monday. The market wasn't looking so good, but maybe we were ready to ready to rally, poised to rally, technically oversold, whatever you want. We also had some uh, really big news out of the Fed. The Fed was ready to step in. The Powell put was put in place. We also saw some potential positive trade news. So the market had a huge rally on Tuesday. We were 70 points off of the 3 p.m. Monday low. So the market took a tremendous run. And now what I wanna see today and the rest of the week, I know we had some weak jobs data this morning. I'd like to see the market consolidate here tread water, maybe make a new high, and then I'll feel a lot more comfortable. When you go back into May, we had big rallies in May, but they weren't uh, sustainable. We didn't hold up there and the market made new lows. So I'd like to see the market just stretch this out for a little bit, consolidate here, and then hopefully on Friday, maybe a jobs report, maybe a trade news, maybe whatever, just be able to take out a new high. Now, of course, we've had that volatility. The markets, uh, for its part today, were up all, about six or seven points in the S&P 500. The VIX is also up, so the market's Still concerned that a potential new low could be coming, so I'm watching out for that. But I'm also watching out, the big thing I'm watching for the rest of the year right now is inflation. Yesterday, we saw some, uh, of course we saw some Fed saying that we might lower rates. This is the uh, United States joining into this lowering uh, game which is going, around, around the, going on around the world. In response to some of these trade wars, uh, let's, for example, in Mexico, we put a 5% tariff on. If they were able to lower their currency by 5%, the net result would be a zero uh, so the trade war wouldn't really have any change. Same thing happening in, in China. Uh, so we're, we're watching that. And if as the U.S. enters in here, we saw gold spiking up, a huge rally in gold, sign to me that people are, are starting to worry about inflation. And that's really like a longer term risk trend I'm looking at for next year. But it's something I want to watch and I'll be watching gold closely. So for Equity Armor Investments, I'm Joe Teague.